We begin with some historic news. India has become the first country in the world to successfully land a craft near the moon's south pole. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was watching the mission from South Africa and congratulated the team back home. Let's take a closer look at why there's been a rise in interest in the moon's southern pole. Well, the area is said to be home to frozen water, which could be a source of drinking water, fuel and oxygen for future moon explorations. But attempts to land on the surface of the moon had proven challenging. That was until now. It's not just India alone. This is a year in which the world is witnessing India's G20 presidency. Our approach of one earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. This human-centric approach that we present and that we represent has been welcomed universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. Therefore, this success belongs to all of humanity. In 2019, India's Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft attempted to touch down but failed. Rough terrain was cited as one of the reasons. And just a few days ago, Russia's first mission to the moon in nearly 50 years ended with disappointment after its Lunar 25 spacecraft crashed on landing. Well, for more on this, we're going to bring in Anil Kumar Bhatt, who is Director General of the Indian Space Association. It's an industry association for Indian space and satellite manufacturing companies. He joins us now from New Delhi. Thank you very much for being on Al Jazeera once again. Uh, first of all, can you explain to us the mood around the country uh, there when it was confirmed that uh, the lander had indeed, indeed touched down successfully? You know, it's a historic and special moment for our space, not only for space, but for everyone in India. There were more than a billion hearts which were beating louder and faster, waiting for this very critical last 20 minutes of the lander coming down. And we are so proud of our scientists that they have been able to achieve it and do it well this time and land it softly on the moon. Uh, we, uh, there's jubilation all around. I'm here in a college uh, a little away from Delhi. And my God, the excitement, <laughs> the happiness I've seen with students uh, as if every, we won a World Cup match or something. Yeah, so the, everybody's so excited. The pictures from the mission control were remarkable when uh, it was confirmed that it had indeed touched down. I guess, how significant is this going to be uh, for the Indian space industry as well as the wider economy? Yeah. You see, uh, the Indian space industry, which is in a very nascent stage now, is will be built up on the heritage it takes from ISRO. And whatever ISRO achieves will get passed down to our space industry players. It is already happening. Mm. They are doing transfer of technology, of satellites. Uh, rockets are now being made with private players, like the PSLV, and many more things. Even uh, our startups who have attempted a launch, support has all been from ISRO. So ISRO's scientific success is a step forward for the industry also. And as all of us say, in the future, there will be a lunar economy led by space stations and colonies on the moon. Mm. And who knows in the future, uh, mining, or if not mining, moon becomes the base for going beyond into the universe. Yeah. And for all that, all spacefaring nations are going to go together. And ISRO's achievement here is a, it is a very positive step for the Indian space industry. Mm. I guess I want to know how ambitious uh, India is when it does come to space exploration. Does it want to uh, compete with the likes of Russia and China and America and, as you say, uh, push the boundaries and go beyond to Mars? Oh, oh yes. The, the thing is, the most important part of ISRO has been, and like the present current chairman says, one step at a time. 
And the present two steps which they are looking at is uh, human mission, which is the Gaganyan. Uh, mission very immediately, maybe next month, where there will be a Aditya mission to monitor the sun. But all steps are being taken one by one. As I know today, uh, for some other planet, there is no mission which has been laid down. But in the future, and with the success which has been achieved, that will really happen. And of course, Indian space journey has been with allies, with friends, with partners. Uh, from France to Japan to USA to R USSR and mm. now Russia and many other, uh, Australia now, many countries, even UK, we, we, we've we been all cooperating in this space journey. So that is why this, this landing on the southern part of the moon, which we've been successful, is good for the entire scientific community of the whole world. Yeah, certainly is a very exciting time uh, when it comes to space exploration. Thank you so much. Uh, that is Anil Kumar Bhatt, Director General of the Indian Space Association. Thanks very much for being on Al Jazeera. Thank you. Thank you. Honour being there.